This building holds just north of 80,000, and they have come out in very good numbers today at FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Carolina Panthers and the Washington Redskins. season has hit high gear and off we go in week 11 on EA Sports and this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line as they finally bring him to the turf. But I'm not sure this is going to stand. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Now here's Mahomes. He's got his target. It's the tight end, Tyler Higby. They'll give him eight on the play, and that'll make it second and 12. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing and communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. Able to find a lot of empty space there, picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. Now those are the ones that hurt defensively. You do everything right. Excellent pressure, good coverage downfield, and then he slips out the back door and turns it into a nice gain. And he'll lose yardage here back at the 31. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels. Because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, it's nothing but room to run. Samuel on the quick throw. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Really in a hole here, third and 17, following the two negative plays. 55, come on, guys, 55. Watch it. 
Working from the gun, Mahomes. Completes it to Samuel. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high powered, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored gives yourself your you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so because then you turn it into a shootout, and that means your offense has to keep pace. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. They'll run for the first time with Johnson. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That one, a gain of 20 in a first down. Here we go. Here Quite we go. the opening drive march they're go. on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your Hello. offensive script. You go through your play calling. You go through all this stuff and establish things. Right here, and it right looks here. like it's going like clockwork right switch. now for them. He's checking. He's checking. He's checking. Crash. Crash. 50 cents. 50 cents. Let's stay on the ground on first for Johnson. And he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten the yard down to 16. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. This defense against the run, by the way, they're not top five, but they are top ten. So what's your philosophy here? Do you try and run the ball against a team that's pretty good against the run? What if you're a pretty good running team? If so, you might want to go ahead and run it anyway because that's your strength. And despite the fancy footwork we saw, they'll get to him just inside the 15. A gain of two there on the heels of a one-yard pickup on first. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Throwing is Mahomes on third. They'll get this to McCaffrey out of the backfield. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. six points of the ball game. Do you go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator and remember oh, yeah. what he told us? Absolutely. With some teams, I script to probe in the early part of the game. Other teams, I script to attack. They've been in attack mode for these ball games and continue that in this one. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. This fielded at the two. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Here on first down. Rush coming and he 
he's taken down. Vic Beasley making it look easy, cruising in for the sack. Well, we knew coming in it was going to be a long afternoon if they weren't able to hold up against this pass rush, huh? What we didn't know was that protection was going to spring a leak on the first play from scrimmage. Got after him right out of the gate. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. The second down attempt there, knocked down as it leaves the quarterback's hand, and it's incomplete. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little go, bit, even if you don't score Eight, any points. Three. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Looking to throw. Right. And this turns into disaster. He's not going to get forward progress. That'll be a safety. So they go with the empty set, and that's the risk you run right there. Nobody was there to protect. Well, you know how most offenses have audibles, and they've changed plays when they see certain sets? A lot of defenses do the exact same thing. You go to an empty back set, they bring pressure, and boy, did it pay off in this case. Returnable for Grant. Let's go! Let's do it! The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are, but with that last drive, that culminating touchdown, I think they carry that confidence into this one. Doesn't matter where you start with the football now, they have to feel great about their opportunity. Give them a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. going to pull it out and keep it himself. Gets this to his running back. It's Christian McCaffrey. Six yards on the pickup. And just like that, it's third down. And he is the NFC rating offensive player of the week. You got to think, all the guys that take the field each and every week, that's, that's not an easy award. Always has to feel good to grab it. It has to feel great because it separates you, at least for a week amongst your peers. And for him to separate again, he has to have the same type of a game. That means being explosive off the line of scrimmage and catching everything that comes his way. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. They'll try and pick it up to McCaffrey. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, it's 9-0. Decisiveness. One cut and he goes. That's what's really made pile up the yardage. And the yardage he piled up last week, easily honored with NFC Offensive Player of the Week. I would have voted for him. Yellow. 
The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Mahomes going to pull it out and keep it himself. They go quickly here out to Moore. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. It'll be a loss of one, and they're going to face a third down. First, it's a gain of 12. I think it all came together there. In breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. The Holmes will bring him up first and 10. And he's completed all seven of his passes thus far. Holton Hill, the one there to bring him down. Despite the Bulls are still able to pick up a nice solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fit and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Their first down run got five. Here's second and five. Here we go. That's the West. That's the West. Yellow, yellow. That's the West. That's the West. That's the West. Check nickel, nickel, nickel. Now Anderson. And he's going to get hit at the line of scrimmage and driven backwards. They'll say no gain on the play there. Now it'll be third down. Yo, the Panthers yo. on third on, down. Lady. A perfect four for four thus far. This will be third and five. Pressure right. Man open. That's Robert Foster complete. And he'll get this one down near the 20 yard line. Just shy of the 20. We know they're securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Oh, one second and 11 now. Mahomes will set up the screen to McCaffrey. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. Third and 15 here after the first and second down plays went in the wrong direction. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Got his target, Samuel. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy. And on this challenge, the refs have to take a peek and see whether or not the receiver is able to dot the eye with both feet. While making sure that he possesses the football all the way through the catch. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Try to run with McCaffrey. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. And a nice job defensively to keep him out of the end zone. He's trying to get a second touchdown already in the first half. They had that one earlier. It was bidding for a second. Second and goal from inside the five. Now again, right 
right side. It's Grant. What the quit? Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. Here's another second and goal, this time from half the distance closer. Let's go, Dean, let's go! Again, McCaffrey. Able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop it right around the run. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. This Washington defense, they've stood tall the first two plays. Now a third and goal. And he's going to go backward. They get him behind the line. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Defense didn't budge on third down. Now what are we going to see on fourth? We are soon to find out, but does this feel like old school football or what? Oh, yeah. This is an old-fashioned goal line stand. I know what I would call on offense. I would go for it. I want some type of a play where my quarterback has a chance to run it or throw it. I don't just want one static play. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. Let's go, baby! The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. And last time they surrendered to safety, we know they don't want to do that. That is just one of those oddities in scoring that we get. And it's just so strange to see that go up on the board. And then you got to make sure that that doesn't happen to your team again. They've got to take care of the ball. But boy, it juices up the defense. Oh, without a doubt. That's a great way to score some points. Second and six, just inside the 30. Hey, 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 hey. Defense, defense. Out of the gun, Geis. He takes us from the 30 to the 34. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. A three-yard loss. Fourth down now. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. The 48-yard punt, seven on the return. And the Panthers will take over now, first and ten. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Still more than a minute to go, so you know, there is time if they want to mount something here. It's not only time... But then three timeouts at their disposal as well. So that changes everything that you're doing here. Without those timeouts, you can only work the sidelines hoping to get out of bounds. Here, the middle of the field is still available because you can call timeout and regroup. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. And this one across the 35. The Panthers have the first. It's a gain of 12. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Mahomes going to pull it out and keep it himself. And he's got McCaffrey open. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Let's go, D, tighten up. Let's go, D, tighten up. A first down carry here for Johnson. 
Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. And second down, Johnson. And not much running room. Down to the 32. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. The Redskins on third down, putting an extra man here in the secondary. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And under the throw, Higby, it's complete. And it's a fumble, and the Redskins scoop it. Now he's into the clear. The psychology of the game never ceases to amaze me because you would think there would never be a fumble from what we hear from coaches all the time, right? And how much they practice not fumbling. Practice it, preach it, talk about it all the time. You would think no one would ever turn it over. Yet they are humans out there running around, and we just saw another one. Opportunistic by the defense. Let's go. Pretty base. Check, check. Pick nine. Let's go, D. Check nine, check nine. On first down, this is Geis. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Pickup of five. Here's second and five. Watch your slap. Watch it up. Second and five. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. Who's trying to get it to Terry McLaurin. And that'll make it third down. Brings up third and five. They had great starting position to begin the drive, but now they look up at a third and five. Operating from the gun. Right. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37 yard line. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So, with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the left hash, this from 53 yards out. think this has the carry it does not it's no good and this score will stay right where it is so we come upon halftime and what's a 12 point game at the break as we'll send you down the coast now to orlando that's where we find jonathan coachman ready with our ea sports halftime report coach this is taken at the three and he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. For this next drive, the Redskins offense. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they feel like they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. Here's Geis. Deep on the Carolina side of the field. A big play there out of Geis. 
45 yards. Trailing here in the third, and that run might just be the spark that this offense needs. And don't you just get the sense that he's going around, not just in the huddle, but looking over at the bench and saying, ball, give me the ball. Let me carry this thing home. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. We call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Second down, it's Henderson. He takes us down to about the 12 for a gain of three. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Ready? 70, Indy. They're going to need some therapy after this. Hey, Echo. Right, just roll on third down. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. This home crowd, they're happy with that call. <laughs> I like the way you said happy there, right? The so-called good guys didn't get a call. They feel like it's been that way all afternoon. You feeling their pain? They finally got one. Yes, they did. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Give him four on the carry there at second and goal. That's what I'm talking about. On the ground, guys. And they take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Darius Geis with touchdown number eight on the year. As his guys are back within a single score. Extra point good by Hopkins. And this is back to a five-point game. Point game now as here comes the kickoff. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Uh, last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. You've got to protect the football. So the second got lucky. And the Holmes can't get away, and down he goes. So they come out of the locker room trailing, but plays like that, they won't be trailing much longer. Defense really starting out well this second half. Yeah, they knew they had to jumpstart things a little bit. They really struggled in the first half trying to slow them down. But now they had a plan, made that adjustment that we always talk about, and it worked very well on that play. Throwing on second and long. Mahomes got it open, man. It's Foster. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at the 18. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does. And the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had to read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. On third and long, it's Mahomes. And that is incomplete. The former first-round pick, Vernon Hargraves, the one who was there defensively. Good job by this defense, and now playing what they call complimentary football. Offense scores a touchdown for them, so they come right out. Force what should be a three and out and keep the momentum squarely on their side. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. The 
Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. Well, things are starting to move in the right direction. They get the touchdown last drive, then their defense gets them the football back. Yeah, now they have a chance to get the lead if they can put something together here. And I'm eager to see how they decide to do it. If they want to be methodical, or they want to take the big strike and go after it right now. Guys. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. After seeing that, maybe time to go back to some downfield throws here. Yeah, anything, change it up, because the teams that win, the best teams, they're the ones that make adjustments. Doesn't mean you can't come back to what you thought you could get done. Sometimes when you open things up a little bit, you can get back to what you wanted to do before. Go! They stay on the ground. Geis again. He finds an opening past the 40. And finally taken down at the 44-yard line. 27 yards there. First down. Outside handoff to the right side. If you're a running back, you love getting the ball early so you have vision to see what's happening in front of you. Right tackle likes that call. Big play for him. But don't forget about the guys you always tell me on the backside sealing off. When they talk about cutoff blocks, making sure no one can leak from the backside that can run a play down. And nobody leaked. Big play. Now a run with Geis. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. You got it. You they tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Shotgun handoff now to Geis. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. Well, praise has to go to the guys on the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so? Because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game. Check, 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 check. Three, two, eighteen, top. Right now. Escape and he goes down. Shaq Thompson, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. Here's Tressway now. He'll boot it away from about his 35. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. An opportunity to get a drive started here at the end of the third quarter. What you're trying to do is break the game down a little bit. Don't let your guys see too deep into the game, into the future, and say, oh, you got to get here. No, right here, right in front of them. Melt the clock down. Get to the fourth quarter. Try and keep going. And try to keep that lead. Exactly. Double up, double up. He's got it. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. He's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 13 yards, first down, Panthers. A gain of 13 yards. First down, Carolina. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. On first down, 
It's Johnson. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. I think you'd have to say defensively, these guys are doing their job pretty well, right? Yeah, we talked about them holding them under 20 points, right, on defense. And they've done that. They've held them. The problem is their own offense hasn't answered their challenge, which was to score more. Yeah, exactly. I remember you saying magic number was right around 20, and the offense has been the issue. You're right. Mahomes firing complete. They follow up the gain of five by only getting one there on second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he get a good head of steam going. I can't believe they even let you play. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. And he finds a man. It's McCaffrey. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. Eight yards, first down as they're able to convert. First down, Panthers. In Washington territory now. Here's first and ten at the 49-yard line. Mahomes going to pull it out and keep it himself. He finds his man, Johnson. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 23 yards, the final tally. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Yellow, yellow. Shit, shit. Now again, right side McCaffrey. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Now think about all the practices we've watched where they had that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for, and make sure that they're still attacking yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. and goal. Six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. A handoff. McCaffrey running right. Showed off the footwork, but still corralled shy of the five at the six. They'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. They stay on the ground, and McCaffrey again. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. Yellow, yellow. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. They'll try to run it in. Johnson. And he is in. Touchdown, Carolina. David Johnson with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Panthers, they widen their lead. But they decided to run it in and got it done on third and goal. A lot of times, that's a passing play. And the kicker, this has to come out for the PAT. He can breathe a sigh of relief as well, right? Although I don't know if he's really breathing a sigh of relief. I think he likes to put three points on his ledger. Extra point try, good by Gano. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is fielded with the chalk of the 10. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. Yeah. 
Out there ready for this next drive, the Redskins offense. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. No, not to tell my offense right here. The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's, he's not a team anymore. I just cut him. All right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Third punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But so, hey, listen, if something got there, we got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. Let's go. 60 Pittsburgh. Come on, I'm on. I'm coming for you, 27. I'm coming for you. Third down. Here's Geis. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Well, look at the clock. You're down two scores. You have to go for this, don't you? And they thought that as soon as they took over possession. It didn't matter where they were on the field. They were always going to be in four-down territory. Backed up in good situation. It didn't matter. So they've been preparing for that on their play sheet the entire time. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. And he's not able to get away. He is stopped well, we well we short of a first down. Here we go. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. And just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Well, Parker, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience, the first few Johnson Hawks poke three footballs head into the Redskins head if they do. I'm guessing that on the sidelines there might be a few words said about that mistake there, but I don't think it's going to hold them in the long run. They're still going to get out of here with a win. Yeah, they got the, the two-score cushion, but you know what coaches say, Charles? Finish strong. Finish the game out the way it's supposed to be played. In fact, coaches might be secretly happy. Give them a chance to do a little extra coaching next week. Now Wright, throwing to start the drive. It's complete downfield, out left to his running back. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. First down at the 49. Get it ready! Ten Loba. Right there, 56. I got it. Check safety, check safety. Hey! Bye. Be ready, be ready. Fit now. 56, check, 56. All right, T, let's try it. All right, T. 56. Be fit, be fit. On the ground, it's Geis. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Well, that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. And he'll get across midfield and into Carolina territory. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to bring up a third and about seven left. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. Come on, set. 60 outlaw. We want this. Mike 56. To throw on third down. Right. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Okay, partner, I pulled a little bit, all right? I think that this has got to be the best game I've seen this secondary play this entire season. Doesn't matter whether they've been in man, zone, they've reacted, communicated, and really made plays on the football. They absolutely have. And the play on that last deep ball, the, maybe the best example of it, they've been solid all game long. On the ready. All right, they're going to try and keep My hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. I got you, sir. Two throws right. Throwing on fourth down. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And this defense is going to get the football back near midfield right at the 48. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. Bringing him down there, Jonathan Allen. Good game there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, 
Nice hole nice for him. Up. Ends up picking up nice yardage. Stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in Get. charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. They're not in any rush offensively.